It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. I found this today, and this literally blew my mind. Actually, I found it yesterday, okay? But this blew my mind. Uh that this would, could even be true. But, I mean, it comes straight from Francis Bavier, so it must be true. Uh, she said on Don Knotts, I don't think I said more than five words to him during the entire run of the Andy Griffith Show. Some friendships are forever, and sometimes two people are simply destined to be nothing more than co-workers. Both of these trajectories are completely fine, but for many viewers, it can almost be painful to imagine that the characters we see on screen are not actually as friendly with each other in real life. In an interview with the Herald Sun, Francis Bavier spoke about her co-star Don Knotts during their time together on The Andy Griffith Show. While Knotts only spent five seasons on the series as a main character and Bavier remained for the entire duration, Barney Fife and Aunt B were commonly found on screen together. As Andy's best friend, it only made sense that Barney and Aunt B developed some kind of a relationship. But in the interview, Bobby A. revealed that while she and Knotts were on screen together quite a bit, they didn't spend as much time talking behind the scenes. She said, I don't think I said more than five words to him the whole time. The distance between the two wasn't based on mutual dislike. Uh, rather, Bobby A. maintained that she still felt comfortable working around Knotts, so it was clear that she respected and liked uh, Knotts as a co-star. Apparently, Knotts was also quite suave when he wasn't playing bumbling Barney Fife, and even Bobby A. noticed. She continued, one time I told him, you're as attractive as Fred Astaire. He has a style, and he thinks he's a Don Juan. He used to wear a trench coat with a collar turned up and a girl on his arm. You had a hard time not laughing, but he's nice. He's very nice. Bobby A. said of the series, the humor in the Andy Griffith show is the hardest kind. It's so gentle, so subtle. It's not a farce, so you can't scream it out. It's on a thin wire. She also likened the show dura show's durability and longevity to the classic children's stories, uh, they are like fairy tales. Children read Cinderella a hundred times. The shows are like an adult fairy tale. Which I agree. Uh, some shows are like that, and especially Andy Griffith's show, because I can watch it over and over and over and over again, see the same thing over and over and over again. And you know what? Sometimes I find new things in it that I not, didn't notice before. But still, I, the humor is the same. Uh, if you get the same boring, dumb jokes, uh, from like a lot of uh, TV shows, and you can't do that. Uh, but this one is just, just different. Uh, the same as the Beverly Hillbillies, same thing. Yeah, but I have a hard time believing them two didn't really speak that much. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's true. Like I say, she said it, but it just seems weird. You spend that many hours a day together. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Please check out Classic TV Facts of Trivia. It is on Gomer Pyle, Jim Neighbors, uh, and. Uh, Opie, Ron Howard. Check that out if you if you want, if you like. I know you like Andy Griffith's show. I don't know you'll like that. Um, and check out Classic Rock and Country Music Facts and Trivia. It is on a band, a legendary band, that's getting back together to record a new album after 44 years. This is cool, guys. You need to check it out. Uh, please like this video. Please subscribe to this uh, channel. Thank you very much. Uh, please share it out with your family and friends. Let them know what we're doing here. You guys have a great day. God bless. And I'm always praying for you guys.